Let's dive into vSphere Application Management Servers. So what these things are, they're basically virtual appliances. They're provided in an OVF format. You'll have to download them into the vSphere client through the OVF wizard. However, SRM actually has a, a shortcut so that in addition to downloading the OVF, it also takes you right to a configuration section where you can put in some common information used to make these virtual appliances unique on the network. So to do that, we will log into the SRM client plugin that's part of the vSphere client, and we went ahead and installed that earlier. But we'll work on the protected site first. We'll then launch the deploy VRM server wizard. And while we're in there, we'll do two things. We'll basically select the information for VM placement. So we'll enter the, the cluster or the specific ESX host and the specific data store and some of that VMware-y type information. Then we'll move into the initial configuration info for the virtual appliance. So this will be IP address, username and password, pretty simple stuff. Once that's configured, we'll go ahead and wait for the, the actual deployment to happen. And we'll wait for the virtual appliance to power on and provide the initial configuration. And we'll verify this by just watching the virtual machine boot. And we'll keep checking back in the SRM5 client to see if it's ready for us to verify the install. Once that's done, we will repeat that same process for the recovery site and basically downloading another VRM server, configuring it, and verifying that it's installed. So now that we've kind of walked through what we're going to demo, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to deploy a vSphere Replication Management Server. Okay, we're now ready to deploy the VRM server. To do that, we'll log into the vSphere client into our environment. Under Solutions and Applications at the home screen, we'll go ahead and select the Site Recovery vSphere plugin. As you can see, I have two sites. The protected site is my local site, and the recovery site is the site that we are replicating to. They're already connected and, and set up. As you can see through the Sites menu, they're connected here. We did that in an earlier lesson. In this lesson, though, we're focused just on the vSphere replication component. So I'll go ahead and click vSphere Replication down below. As you can see under the protected site, I have already deployed a VRM server and I've configured it for use with a SQL Server database. Since the installation is identical on both sites, we'll go ahead and walk you through the deployment of the VRM server at the recovery site. To do so, we'll simply click on the deploy, the VRM server link right here, and it will launch the wizard for grabbing the OVF and uploading that virtual appliance, as well as providing us a chance to configure it. So on this first screen, it's just telling us what we're going to be doing, that we're going to be using an OVF wizard. So we'll go ahead and click OK so we can continue. At this first section, we just accept the defaults, and we'll go ahead and click Next. This is just a little bit of information about the download size and what we'll be doing. I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and we'll have to wait a little bit for that 398 megabyte download. That actually won't start until we populate some information about the name of this virtual appliance and where we want it located. So it'll be located on VC2, it'll be an infrastructure VM, and I'll give it the name of VRMS2 and get, click Next. I only have one ESX server, so you select the ESX server here or the ESX cluster that's at that site. And click Next. I'm going to go ahead and store this on local storage just to spread I.O. out a little bit. Again, this is a home lab. I don't have super powerful storage server, but by spreading my virtual machines out, it does help get the, the most performance out of my available storage resources. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Thick provisioning is OK with me, so click Next. And this is where we'll enter in a password for the appliance and some basic information about the network that it's going to live on. So we'll just go ahead and leave it like that. This is where we'll need the IP address, so I'll put in IP address that I have reserved for this product. And finally, Netmax. 
Once that's all done and you verified, you can go ahead and click next. In this section, you'll simply select the vCenter extension vService. This is for allowing access from the virtual appliance into, into vCenter. Since we're doing a fairly simple POC and we don't have tinfoil hats to worry about security, we're going to go ahead and select the defaults and continue on. Before you get going, here's a quick chance to verify that you didn't fat finger a IP setting or a, a name. This all looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish and let the deployment of the OVF commence. This may take a little while, depending on the bandwidth that you have at your site. So with that, I'm going to mute the microphone and we'll just uh, wait and until the magic happens and then we'll proceed on with the installation. So we'll go ahead and click close and round one of deploying the VRM server is now complete. To check up on this VRM server, we could go out to the home page and go to hosts and clusters and the ESX server where we've just deployed this virtual machine. Go ahead and click on it and what I'm gonna do is open up the console and to see how this thing is progressing. As you can see, it's booting up, waiting for network. Once it's fully up, we'll be ready to log in through the web and configure this thing, which we'll do in a future topic. Ah, here we are. vSphere Replication Management Server is up and ready to be managed. As you can see, there's the, the address that we could browse to and use the password that we supplied earlier, and we'll be good to go. So I go back into the home and to site recovery manager there, beast for replication. We would now be ready to configure the server, which we'll do in a future topic.